Hello, hello friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video, we're going to be playing Bear and Breakfast, which I'm really, really excited uh, to finally start because I've had the game for a while, but I have not started it. Um, I've not started to play it at all. Um, so I'm going to discover it with you. Uh, and if you do not know what the game is about, it's basically like a laid-back management game uh, where you play as a bear and you're gonna you're gonna have to take care of an inn and I don't know <laughs> straight up <laughs> um, so we're gonna discover this together uh, so this video is gonna be more of a discovery I do not know if I'm gonna make um, like a full let's play on this game uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see so I said let's jump right into it alright so first of all select select save why did I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow mom's gonna kill me Oh, Ming's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. The dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Covered stone and dry wood surrounded it. Oh, suddenly a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cry. A shriek pierced through the, the air. There was no one here. No one there. <laughs> Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <laughs> oh. Hello? I can't move. Do huh? not. What? Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Can I? No. Oh, don't move. Can't do that either. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Well, that's convenient. Auto saved. Find the bed. You mean like an introspection thing? Can I interact with the bed? Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in, in the death bed. <laughs> okay. But how do I eat to interact? Okay. I like this kind of tutorial thing. But don't... You're not great at making your mind up. Don't what? Don't wake up? That's it. No more dumplings before bed. <laughs> For the third time, Hank. Oh. Oh, better see what's up. <clears throat> can I move? Okay. I can move. Let's go. Alright. Oh, I'm not allowed. Oh wait, then where am I... Where am I going? This way? No, this way? No. What is going on? I'm already confused. This way. Okay. <laughs> mm, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, so cute. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can call it call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> if only that was easy to do. Jeez, thanks, mom. No, I'm. Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will. Probably. I should go away. Wake them up. All right, honey. 
really like the art style. Oh, I can... Oh, I can turn it on! Is there anything else I can interact with? Maybe not. Okay, so we have to go and wake up... Um, here? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Get out. <laughs> oh, no, Will. <laughs> Good morning! Out. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. <laughs> I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What is in the dock today, boss? Uh, digging a new hole next to the, to the other holes? Actually, mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. Ooh! Mushrooms. <laughs> Uh, what did I tell ya? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do the fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. <laughs> We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in month. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You on his side now? It's morning. We're up. Let's go to stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> oh no, I had like a, a tutorial. On the side. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. I'm gonna grab everything I can. But first, this is intriguing. What is denim? Any denim? Anyway. Okay, so here we cannot go. Oh, to clear the way. Kids, morning, uh, Mrs. M. Ma'am, did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough, whatever that means. Good, today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, put me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. Uh, the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. Okay. I can't believe we get to leave this thing in place. I mean, um, adventure? Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Ooh. Collectible. Find it in your collectible pen. Okay, awesome. But don't lose it again. Ah. I won't. He will. <laughs> he will. <laughs> Alright, you're free. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further uh, than the swamp. Yes, ma. Oh yeah, okay, so main quest. To your surprise, Margaret has, has asked you to travel southeast into Black Moves. Once there, you should look for a bush of alligator weed. Okay, character. Oh, look at Hank! Oh, cute. Furniture items, cooking item. I have nothing. I have nothing. And I have nothing in my inventory either. There's nothing at all. Uh, okay, so on the map I can see where I have to go. Oh, I can see at the bottom of the screen to um, the arrow. Okay, but should I really go when it's dark like this? <laughs> Is that really uh, a good idea? Ah, the three friends found themselves uh, farther than they would ever gone before, past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carlian dog, Carlian? brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. 
No, mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. <laughs> Traveling. <gasps> it's so dark. All right, gang. Spread out. What? Really? I cannot see anything. Okay, I can see where Annie is. Annie? Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Is that it? Oh. What was that? <laughs> what if the... What? I heard it too. We'd better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see. But that's not... I did find it. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weird... We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back! Wait, I I grabbed it, didn't I? <gasps> what? Oh. The timber crossing. Okay. I really like the loading screen. It's cute. Timber crossing. Oh. Investigate the loud noise. Luxurious outhouse. Oh, you need so much things to repair it. Oh, wait, this the house. I didn't even see the house. What is this? I collected something. Wait, collected 10 valuables. Can just enter. Oh, oh wait, it's shining. Oh. oh, some planks. Yes, take everything. Take everything. <laughs> take it. Take it all. It will be useful eventually. I'm sure. There we go. So do I have? Oh yeah, I see it here. Okay. Where, where am I supposed to go? This way. Oh, wait. All it's missing is a pic picnic basket. Oh. Hmm. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. What? The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. <laughs> Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Hmm. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine. Gentleman in the um, orange coat. <laughs> I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor uh, share in the next ma ma major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Home Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your friend corporation. What the? Offering secured tourist tree adjust adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever, ever had me to <laughs> begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless, familiar je jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one free day all inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything expensive or heirloom. Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new adventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location of premises, no matter how rundown or decrepit. To offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans? To leave? Here? I don't think anyone wants to live here, they're just tourists. 
I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> I read I read it in the magazine. Humans are right. Hmm. If you are a friend of a friend who would like to offer your home or house to become a pop voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, <laughs> barely, simply press the green button under my code and a representative will get in touch. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure he it wants to give us money. Human grade, prima quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in month. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? We have oddly alarming strength. My foolproof understanding of all things. And spoil sports, spoil sports, cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for them, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. Oh my god, Hank. <laughs> Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest, it's anything other than good. good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. Uh, they'll all abandon anyway. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Uh, press the green button or walk away. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations! You have been automatically entered into a standard leg legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error and known pattern. Name suits you. <laughs> you, are now, you are now contract uh, contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three bin business days. Simply press the green button under my code when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows everything about human houses? Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazine we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? <laughs> no, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. Yay! And I do not, n and I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need these master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Okay, we need to find. Uh, who? Tony? Wait. Uh, he decided to go find Tony the beaver and ask for help. He lives nearby in Sawdust in the west of Timber Crossing. Okay. Let's go find Tony. Sawdust. Is there anything I can... Oh, bus station. Unlock fast travel. Ooh. I do have enough. Should I eat already? No, maybe I should keep it now. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Grab this. More planks. I like the music. <laughs> Hold on, there's more. Mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, let's go. All right, the beaver. My God, a bear! It's just me, sir Hank from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you tell boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a. Hello. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of uh, birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No. There's the shark in timber crossing. 
Oh, a redwood plague with <laughs> your fish? He says it's bringing humans to the valley. Oh, well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and... schematics? It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, naughty... no... naughty? <laughs> frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Wow. Can you make all that? Anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Oh, yes. Well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We need my back saw and mallet, uh, and mallet, a ladder, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. The old yellow. Oh, yes, yeah, so I do have enough. So did you find all the wood? Yep. Got it right here. Good, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Thanks, I just pick it off out of the ground. Amazing! Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Okay. We could. Why are we not going together? Just We could just go together, no? May as well grab everything. Now that he took everything from me. <laughs> we have so much wood. Alright, so let's go back. Oh wow, I already have 53! <laughs> let's go. Alright, so we are back in Timber Crossing. But where is Tony? Meet Tony back in Timber Crossing. I am on... Tony? What? Oh, Tony! Okay, I found you. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look, I decided to finally show up. As I was telling you, friend here, the wood you brought, up, brought out to be enough. I get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Okay. I already did it. <laughs> I already did it earlier. Did you clean up the shed? Yes. Great. Now I'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can hammer now and feed air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree hang. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Okay. So like, repeat this for example. Oh! I'm just... Oh, there's two. I just need this. Crafting table. Can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Let's go. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. <laughs> uh, thanks. Excuse me. to get better now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while a while ago they would much rather sleep on a clean sto soft springy surface here this is none of those things but it'll do upon voyage has new items available visit the shop to find new items available for purchase okay recipe oh a bed okay can make one at the workbench okay okay you kind of want to Let's spend the night so that we can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so we said crafting. Ooh. What? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Ah. Okay, so. Shabby palette bed. Level 1 bedroom object. Comfort plus five. Decoration plus two.
All right, I made one. Were you able to make that bed? Yes. Got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematic. Oh, no, but here we are. <laughs> I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. <laughs> well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. We're gonna make it. So, we have to build room. So, comfort. Bedroom and it costs 60. Dinky. <laughs> Dinky Shadow is making a party. Um, okay, so. Where would I put this? They said to remove. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. That's it scared me. Okay, hold on. Uh like that. And then I need to take the bed. Like that. And then creep room. I did it! Okay, is it? So were you able to make that bedroom? Yes. Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. <laughs> you encourage weird. All right now, this is the most important step. Humans always need to feel their full sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house to tell them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite st uh, straightforward. Uh, front desk recipe. After you've made it, just put it down into the shed and then it's time to uh, rack, rake the door. <laughs> I got you. Alright, so. Uh, inventory. Furniture? No. Oh no, but they... No, wait. Oh no, no, no. I forgot, I need to craft it first. No? Crafting. Yeah, there you go. Uh, front desk. Craft. Perfect. And then inventory. Front desk. Uh, I can rotate with R. Like that. Perfect. <laughs> Perfection. Might be... Uh, it's a little bit too close. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did you place the front desk? Yes. It's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I would say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Hank sounds like me. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. Roger that. Let's go and see. There's so much trash around. Wait, can I? Oh no, I cannot. Repair this, that's right. Oh, same for this. I need a bus sign. <clears throat> Press the green button. Hello, we would like to have... Uh, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations! Your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. Oh, people. 
These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought that they were godly beings, uh, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals like. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified har harbinger of doom. A bit dramatic if you asked um, Hank. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Well, here we are. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Oh, lolo. That's too much responsibility for me. I, c I can't. That is too much. Hold on, this wood. <sighs> too much responsibility for a little bear. Dinky shed, timber crossing, details. Okay. Get oh guest request. Oh yo yo. Hello. Accept. Okay, I assigned him to the bedroom. Arrives tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Why am I scared? Oh no, there's a review tab. No. Why? No, don't do that. This is not good. No. I'm just a little bear. Valuables. What do I do with that? Actually, I need to go and check. Oh, I need to talk to you. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial room. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. <laughs> Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay, so there is shabby. We've been. I already have this. Uh, wardrobe recipe and footdress recipe. Hmm, and I have 90 coins. I don't have enough coins. Alert, alert! It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige! That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly, but it looks just like my room. <laughs> In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knick-knack. Guests go crazy for knick-knacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Mm, get the dinky shed prestige to level 2. Wait, I have to go up there? What's up there? Oh, I have to talk to you. Well there, big fella. Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough of the questions. What are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? What? I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more... Distinguished? Uh, slop, scrap, rubble? No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong. My colossal, colossal companion. <laughs> I got what you need. You stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't fit back at them. Great, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in the gutter before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the, the, the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. <laughs> Find me a snack, then we can talk. Find a sandwich for... N okay, hold on. I have to find a sandwich? Wait, 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 there's someone here, too. Wait, 
that's a human. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? I haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would argue you're the rare her sight. I like your hair. Bear noises. Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Oh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you... Do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sodas and give this to Benny? Benny for me? Find it in your main inventory. Scratched envelope. Usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Okay, I will do that after. Can I enter your... Oh. Turn the light off because you're not inside. I need light. Take everything. Wait, can I interact with this? I can't open this yet. Ah, no. <gasps> the sandwich! <gasps> Thanks, sandwich! Okay, I got it. <laughs> Let's bring this back to the raccoon. So, did you find any grub? Mm hmm. Right here. Still bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Hmm, just like mom used to make. Alright, you British charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swap. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Visit the... Uh, wait, what is it? No, <laughs> to... <laughs> to garbage. Okay, thank you. I mean real valuables. I have 116 old drawer. A welcome sign. Um, some light. A drawer. Mm, what is this? Uh, rug. Yeah, I may as well. I, I may as well take everything. A mirror. Nightstand. Okay. Okay, for now. That'll be enough. So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no. It's not like that. My buddy will always made me go. And it was only magazines and template, pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch it if you, if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new human around here for a while. Must like the couple that run uh, around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the figures. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk PC in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business resolves around supply. No human, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially uh, slim picking if we don't get any of the rich, rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up, the, up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me, I am raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds like a lot more complicated. Nah, this is one of, this is one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver we know, uh, will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind, what new kinds of good we'll have in the shop? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's starting to. Uh, what time is it? It doesn't say. There's no time. Now. Okay. So I'm gonna put the decoration items because the guest is gonna arrive. So I should probably do this. Okay. So. Welcome. Wait, can I see with the? Ah, uh, no. No. Hold on. That's not what I meant to do. Can I put it like... Oh, no. It's... Oh, okay, 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 okay. What the... 
in front of this. Um, nightstand here. Hold drawer. Pick this. Uh, look. A little light and a mirror. There we go. I think that's pretty good, no? I mean, for now. <laughs> it's as good as I can can do. Do I have to talk to you? Let me get my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it. Uh, on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our best shot at getting more humans to come. You do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well, oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallelepiped. A rectangle what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And not attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, as usual, my son, student. Yeah, that's what I said. I take it back, you don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, then we'll get that at the building. So, all clean. Almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things that humans look for in a kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's there's a few oddities I would need to get it all together. I need a bit of human uh, literature. Literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of wrapping apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bu bus shack. Great, treasure hunt. Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. I do have to go to Sodas to for the other quest too. Uh to give the envelope. Uh Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's here. Are you got scared of me? Oh, I'm scaring him? I mean, I guess... It makes sense because I'm a bear, but... Sir, I run the place? <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Oh! going what is he doing oh what is he doing I have no idea why he's taking photos uh so let's go to Sodas Alright, so where do I have to go? Up here. Oh, the tower. Wait, I saw someone. Oh, Sabine. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? Good! Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can't understand me. I've been around these woods for a while. I think I can... Uh, I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? Then what am I saying right now? Actually... <laughs> that was pretty unintelligible. Unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad, I'm sorry. I'm just joking, yeah? What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Vinny. I have something for her. Oh, that's... Uh, just a nickname. I'm Vinny. Oh, or Sabine, if you if you're my mom, but 
But I like, um, Pini. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the boss person. He gave me a letter, letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Oh, you was all? Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a whistle, <laughs> but I understand the resemblance. No, no, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver license and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put station for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Okay, compass. Uh, here, you you can have this. I'll help you find your way back faster. Oh. Oh. Wait, world map. Oh. Because, okay, so that's where we leave. Uh, so does timber crossing. Like, okay. Oh, I can see the, the time. What? It even says clear 20 degrees. Player Hank Sabine and Transquest area. Oh, I can see what... Oh, I can see where there's... Uh, things to collect. Maybe I exit. Oh. Where am I? Okay. Quest area. Get an old computer from Suda's can uh. Wait, do I have to get... Wow. I would like to be here. Imagine. Oh, well, that reminds me when I played the uh, the game uh, Firewatch. It was a good game. But I need to get get an old computer from Sodust. Oh, there. Okay, old computer. Perfect. It's not. Yeah. So now there's nothing anymore here. Okay. So let's go back. Mm. Okay. Where is my guest? Oh, maybe I should check. I want to see how it is with this. Last area. <laughs> the target though. guest is not oh he's here he put trash not oh, there okay who are you hold on let me see where is where oliver is that oliver oh that was oliver <laughs> back already bud did you find Benny? did you give her the letter yes i did Oh, you're the man. Oh, bear, sorry. So what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. But she found the rest of it. That's incredible. Drawing all of this out of her, out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, this so dust and high lake. And look, this is where we are. We are. You probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. <coughs> I know it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. They just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really need needing me or my buses in a long time. With all the new folk uh, starting to visit and all, I think you should have this and look, see where these old bus stops are. <laughs> Sorry. If you manage to fix this up like you did with the old storage shed, I give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. So I have to... Okay, Atlas. Uh, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's repair. Let's go! A new bus station is now available. You can now fast travel here. But I need a second one to be able to travel somewhere. Mm. So now, do I just talk to you again? Yeah. 
Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. That's great new news. <laughs> That's great news. Oh, look at him. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softie. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Spook, on the other hand, was a crooked uh, creature with a taste for stolen belly. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. Oh, that's great news, Buzz. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Oh, Oliver tool Toolbox has new items. Oh! Uh, where is the shop exactly? Where do I access it? Mm. Oh wait, there's something shining. And on the string. Sorry! Sorry that I'm stealing it! Okay. Let's sleep. Let's pass the night. And I hope our guest is okay. Is he gonna leave? That's it? Is he leaving for good? Oh yeah, he left. Wait, how can I see again? I forgot. Oh no, it's at the front desk that I can see. Details. <gasps> Refused. Oh, <gasps> great! Lovely experience and great host. We'll be booking in advance for my next trip. Oh, guest request. Seven. Oh my goodness, what? Uh, four. Wait. Restore decoration. Uh, except Angela. A sign. We be, we arrive tomorrow morning. <gasps> but like, I'm gonna have to make more. I should probably make another bedroom. That's not enough. <laughs> Hold on. Comfort. Bedroom. Is that enough if I do this? Oh, I need to craft. Oh, no. Ah, but wait. Is that okay if I still put the thing after? Hold on, craft. Craft a bed. Uh... Take the bed. We're good? Yeah, it's a bedroom now. Okay. What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put this with this. Uh, and this one. So there's... Five of decoration, eight of decoration. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's good. Okay, so that means... No, I cannot access the desk anymore! I did not think about this. It's just very weird, this whole thing. Hold on. So I can get someone else. Uh, Livia. Assigned to bedroom number two. Perfect review. Oh, I only need one more to reach level two. This. So, a lot of them, yeah, it's... They stay for two days, one day. But they don't even eat or anything. They just sleep. Maybe they bring their own food. 
Do I have to talk to you? Professional trash talker at your disposal. At your garbage disposal, that is. Mm. Oh, a little plant. Let me... Let me get a little plant. Mm -hmm. so what do I have to do? Uh, the quest I have is to get to prestige level 2 and get a book on spelling from the fake... Ah, I have to go back uh, home. How do I go home? I need to go to the... Oh, I have to pass through the thickest and... I don't know, maybe from sodas? Look at me! I'm a little bear! <laughs> I'm a little bear! No! So cute! Alright, I think that for today I'm gonna stop here. Uh, with a little bear, Hank. Uh, I, I really like it. I really like it. I think it's gonna get maybe a little bit <laughs> overwhelming after when there's gonna be a lot of uh, guests and they're gonna have like they're gonna become very picky and I'm gonna have several locations. Uh, but I think it's gonna be fun. Look, Hank is adorable. I love Hank. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this um, this little video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed spending some time with me and um, and that you liked the game too uh, I will see you for another video on another game maybe and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe the video that would that would mean a lot to me and, uh, and yeah, I will see you later bye